me, Jane of Bay again! And today, I'm here with our Pambansang Translator! Si Sandra Chung! Ito po si Sandra Chung. Just so you guys know, she's personally, ah, she's the hottest translator in the Philippines right now. She translates real artists, K-artists, K-pop idols, K-actors. Grabe. And ano pa, mga business sides also. She got all of that in her hand. Oh so yeah, God. before even beginning with this content, here are at Sandra's Instagram. If you guys want to see the latest updates with your favorite K-idols, like, ayan, follow nyo na siya. Kasi she gives out so much information. Hello, this is Sandra Ju. Iko yung gumawa nito. Oh, Sandra! Hello! Annyeonghaseyo! I'm Dalagang Koreana at I'm a freelance translator and host and singer and nag-acting konti-konti ngayon. Oh, nag-acting ka kanina! Kahapon! Grabe! Ano role mo doon? Cabinet? Mami! Mami? That one or the... No, may anak ako. Ah, ay, mommy. So, ayan guys, today we'll be... I'll be interviewing Ate Sandra Jong because uh, I feel like she has a lot of stories to tell as being the K-translator here in the Philippines. I myself have been translating for K-pop idols for like, uh, around like good four to five years. And trust me, there are so many crazy moments. <laughs> Nakaiyak na moments, nakapikon na moments, and nakakatawang moments as well. Oh. Diba? Kukain mo na. <laughs> <laughs> so, kain muna. So, guys, isa sa fave. Actually, pizza? Uh, uh, yeah, pizza. Para Korean pizza, pero may seafood siya. Okay, okay. Try. Actually, mm. this is your first time. Diba, yung Hebrew Pajon? In your restaurant? Yeah. Oh my god. Asa? Guys, no joke ha. Sabi ko sa kanya. Ah! Kasi, if you guys don't know, si Ate Sandra, she has a restaurant, authentic Korean restaurant at Malate, right? Yes. Where in Malate? Yung Malate Circle? Malate, Nakpil siya. Malapit sa circle. Mga hmm. one minute away from... Alam ko, Nakpil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nakpil yeah. Corner Maria Oros. Ayan. So, ba bali, Malate Circle area siya. Authentic Korean. By tasting this pizza, I know how you guys survive. It's so good. Mm. Sobrang yeah. sarap. Yeah. So anyways, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Thankfully, yes, major busy after pandemic. Kasi di ba for three years, wala talagang work, walang event, walang work. As in zero talaga, kahit yung resto, as in walang customer, kahit piso. Kasi walang dine-in. And we are new. Everything ah, so is new. Pa... Kaya hindi pa sikat, hindi pa kilala. Eh, yung mga translate, alam mo naman, yung mga Korean kasi they cannot come into the Philippines. Uh -huh. So, walang work. So, parang lahat na close lahat. So, walang budget. But thankfully, itong April lang. Medyo konti-konti kasi wala ng quarantine. Mm -mm. Now, may vaccine na, kaya tuloy-tuloy sila. And sobrang dami mga K-pop event, ang dami every week. Parang lahat may yeah. fan meeting and K-pop na awa ako sa mga fans. Ang dami nilang ubos na pera. So, kaya, ba diba, sunod-sunod? Minsan, doble. On a one day. Oh, and, really? Yes. And kulang pa kami ng mga translator kasi yung iba umuwi na sa Korea dahil sa pandemic. Kaya parang so hassle to look for the expert translator. Uh -huh. Because mostly ngayon, yung mga K-pop agency, they are look for the expert na. Yung mga may experience. Kasi ayaw nila siyempre maiwas sa mga issue, mm. ganun. I have prepared some of the questions for our Pambansang Translator. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this kalokohan. Okay, now, first question is, how long have you been translating for K-pop idols and actors and why and how did you start? Yung translating? Yeah. Actually, kasi nag-start ako sa business translator in Kotra. Kasi oh. wala akong connection sa mga K-pop event. Mm -mm. At hindi ko alam na kailangan din pala na translator doon sa mga event or concert. And doon, di ba, nakilala kita? Alam nyo guys, nakalimutan ko to. Grabe. Ang sakit naman yun. Every interview, palagi ko sinasabi na, sinasabi nila, how did you start? And sabi ko, oh, ah, one of my friend introduced me. Hindi ko naman syempre masabi kasi yung pangalan mo. Bakit? Bakit hindi? Gusto mo? Ah, si Chino. Kaya pala di ko na... Kaya pala di ko napansin eh. Yeah, siya yun. Oh, oh. Finally, I can say, siya yun. Ah. Actually, that is my first time to interview in one promoter. Na sin para sinabi mo, Ate, gusto mo mag-translate ano, sa concert? Then sabi ko, kaya ko ba? Kasi more on business ako. I know that business translator and concert is really totally different. And iba rin yung price, iba rin yung oras, yes, di ba? grabe. Kaya sabi ko, kaya ko ba? Sige, try nga. Eh, sinend ko na yung resume ko sa kanya. Then ngayon, sinend niya sa 
sa promoter and finally yan yung first ko kasama si Lily ko. So, para simula yon tuloy-tuloy na siya. Yeah. Grabe, di ba? Oh, so brah. Ako naman like I was asked by my friend during the time kasi during the time ako 2014 or 13 yeah, pa lang nagto translate pa ako eh. So, sobrang daming Koreans noon kaya talagang agawan sa translating job. During the time, right? Sobrang daming nag apply and then syempre mga nag-apply sa akin mga 20 resumes mm -hmm. and the production told me, uh, could you just submit the five best you would recommend? And then, fortunately, you were one of yes. You were one of those. And I still, know. now I'm still alive. Yes, <laughs> she's <laughs> alive. Because, <laughs> parang di ba? Meron na ako na pansin yung mga ibang translator na walaren. Uh oh. Because hindi naman lahat ng translator parang nandoon lahat. Medyo picky na yung mga ibang companies. Mm -hmm. eh. Because, mm -hmm. syempre, they love kung sino talaga may experience. Because, mm -hmm. para hindi sanay na at alam ko kasi halos lahat naman ng mga tao ngayon magaling talaga sa Tagalog. Sobrang daming nagtatagalog, nag english pero kasi yung tinitingnan nila talaga yung sense, yung talagang matagal na ba siya, kung paano siya mag-translate kasi mm -hmm. it's really different na ini-interpret mo talaga yung salita nila plus yung mga culture nila plus yung mga expression nila mm -hmm. in a good way. True. Kasi we have a different culture. Kaya kapag kunting mali lang, may misunderstanding na. Diba? Kaya yan yung pinakamahirap sa translate. Grabe! It's nakakatakot yung stage translating. Ah. Grabe, alam mo dati, after I did tra stage translation once or twice ata, I go to Twitter agad. Oh, to the... Baka may nababash sa akin. Oh. Chinecheck ko agad. Ako <laughs> Kasi if you make a mistake, ito tweet ka agad nila. Yes. Talaga na. Sino yung translator? Oh, tong translator. Ano ba tong translator na kinuha nyo? Ganon, ganon, ganon. Tapos kami naman, di rin na gano'n na. Gagawin namin to. Akala namin. So, ayan guys, just so you guys know, when we are being chosen as translators in the beginning, we don't know which part we're assigned mm -hmm. with. Yeah. Sa totoo lang. It's random. You could be at the production part. You yes. could be at the, the road manager part. Yes. You could be yung hatid sundo. Ganon. Yeah. Ikaw yung bibili ng toothpaste na mga Iba-iba talaga. <laughs> yeah. Iba-iba talaga. Iba-iba talaga. So, ayun nga. Um, yeah, really like back in the day. So, ikaw talaga yung first na naging through sa akin. Yeah. Oh, Pero I really you, forgot Gino. talaga. Kaya nga eh. But, but, can I be honest? I was also thankful with you because after hiring you, hmm. if you do bad, hmm. they're gonna get mad at me. <laughs> But they never get got mad at me, diba? Oh. So it means to say I don't have to look for another translator. Pa. So thank you also for oh. being good. Okay, now grab a question one pa lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two. Do you have any K idols or actors who you were so excited to meet or work with before seeing them? Ito kasi. Ano na 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 Yes. Pero parang, syempre, after the generation, parang lahat sila maganda, okay. Pero meron akong group na na-translate ko. Na kaya naging fan ka. Naging fan ako. Kasi tatlong beses ko sila na-translate. Sinta oh. Sobrang bait yung manager. And after, yung second time ko na-translate sila, kilala nila ako. Sabi niya, oh, Duna, oh. ikaw yung dati kong translator, di ba? Parang they already know na ako. You think when we're translators, we are allowed to talk to the artists directly? It's actually no. a no. Yes. Ganun. As Ganun po sila kahigpit. Like, unless the artist approach you first, you are never supposed to talk to them directly for yes. any personal reasons or anything. Mm -hmm. So when I saw BAP talking to you directly, I was like, ay, ay, what? <laughs> Tropa? <laughs> Tropa! Pangatlo na namin yun eh. Kaya para alam na nila. Tapos, there's this signature. This is how I know if the artist is kind. This is my basis. If the artist is comfortable to work with, I mean, if the artists are scary or yeah. hindi mo pa close, ganun, ganun lagi translator. But you, you're holding your bum. <laughs> so, I can see in your body language you're comfortable with them na. You're like this. Oh, ganun pala mo? Oh, sige, sige. Upo ko na. <laughs> Because <laughs> parang mukhang parang brother ko sila. Mm. They are so kind. And oh. doon na yung tawag nila. And yan yung pinaka-importante. Kapag mabait yung manager, mabait yung artist. Oh. Kaya yung mga manager, parang sila yung nagsasabi, sige, sabi mo kay Ate Sandra. So parang mm. sila yung lumalapit. Kasi kagaya na sinabi mo, kapag as in yung artist, hindi po sila lalapit sa translator. Never. As in zero talaga. Yeah, speaking of, actually, we don't even need this question. Eh. <laughs> ano yun? Do you, there were times where
where I don't know if this is allowed. <laughs> I've seen I don't know if it's makeup artist or stylist like very touchy with the idol. Like they were hugging. What? Huh? Maybe friendly. I saw talaga. I saw this K-pop idol group hugging. What? Like, hugging talaga sila ng stylist and ano. Baka sila. And it wasn't even inside the room, ha? Huh? So, Kaya nagulat ako. So, ay, putong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be honest with you guys. Before, I used to dream of being a K-pop idol because of TVXQ. So, and then after translating for a few years, na wala yung dream ko sa pagiging K-pop. <laughs> Kasi sobrang hirap. Sobrang hirap. Ang hirap maging idol. Insan naawa ako. Tapos ang dami din peke. Um, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> They really want to go out. Pasyal yeah. pasyal sa Philippines. Siyempre kasi first time din nila. Gusto nila kukakain ng Jollibee sa labas. Yeah. Hindi sa loob ng dressing room. Yung manager kasi sabi nila bawal. Kasi for your safety and sa mga fans. Kasi yeah. bigla kapag dumami yung tao. Siyempre masaktan din yung mga fans. Palagi nasa dressing room, hotel. Dressing room, hotel. Kaya parang naka, minsan nakakaawa sila. Siyempre yeah, tao rin sila eh. Diba? Kaya nga si Joshua pumunta dito. Diba? Mag-isa. 17. Ah, yung with mom. Pero what was the person? <laughs> Narinig ko yun, naawa ako! Sabi ko, the serve! Yan! Tikin! Taste of Philippines! Yeah! Mabuhay Philippines! Parang, welcome Philippines! Kasi, even... Oye, pero sa totoo lang, 1,000 is not that expensive, ba? Ngayon! Kasi, mahal na yung group. Oo, pero 1,000 is little amount. Ako nga dati, Vito Cruz to Intramuros, hiningi sa akin 2,000. Pusang gano. It's their trick. Yeah. Kaya those when whenever my friends ask me is it mura in the Philippines? No. Sa totoo lang, I'm like not really. Yes. For now, hindi na. Unless you really eat there in the calendaria every meal na tigbo 100 ganon, which before it was 30, yes. 50. Did you have any rude moments with any artist? Ah, pero meron akong rude na writer. Oh, writer ng concert. Show. <gasps> okay, paano? Oh, you don't know. I can tell this. Actually, that is my third third time only in concert then after the concert kapag medyo depende naman sa promoter we have a after party mm -hmm. Then, in every production, we have a translator. So, dati kasi medyo marami kami kasi kagaya na sabi ni Chino, mga more than 10 yung mga artists na biglang dumadating. So, parang, syempre, obvious lang sa mga artists kasi medyo close na po kami sa mga manager. Sabi ng mga manager, ah, mga translator, punta rin kayo, kain tayo sa after party. So, pumunta ako, kasama ko yung isang translator kasi yung iba hindi pa tapos yung work nila. And yung ibang artists kasi, diretso na sila sa hotel. So, kasama ko yung isa. Then, umupo kami doon sa resto. Biglang, may narinig ka kasi sa tabi namin oh sila. God. I think I remember yes. that. Yes. Then, parang sinabi ng isa doon na, kahit translator, nandito ba sa resto? Pwede ba kain sila? Sabay tayo? Parang okay. sabay kami kami. Oh. Parang ganun. Ba't sila makikain sa atin? Oh, parang parang ganun. Kaya, parang sarcastic. Kumakain kami, pero parang, parang naririnig ko siya. And doon ko na-realize, ah, yung sinasabi niya pala, yung point niya is translator. Kaya parang nahiya ako na, kasi ako parang yung pinaka- Parang pinaparingan kayo. Yes. And ako yung pinaka-eldest sa translator. Later, oh. before then. So, sinabi ko sa kasama ko, uh, kung tapos ka na, labas na tayo, parang ayoko na. Kasi, syempre, nakakahiya na wala kang kasama. Then, yung manager ng artist, yung PAP manager, sabi niya, Sandra, kain ka pa. And after kain mo, alis tayo kasi hotel na sila. Then, sabi ko, ah, okay na po ako. Then, biglang dumating yung dalang translator. Umupo sila. Then, parang, Naka tumitingin yung staff mm. sa amin na kumakain pa kayo rin. Umalis na ako. Pero sinabi ko talaga sa promoter after this happened. Kasi, syempre, the translators are also tao rin tayo eh. Diba? Actually, we play a very, very important role. Hindi kami yung may gusto. Yung mga manager and yung mga promoter po nagsasabi sa amin na kain kayo, sama kayo para kapag may kailangan yung artist or kailangan ng director, you need to go there para i-order mo sila ng mga foods or mga kung ano yung kailangan nila, hindi naman kami kumakain sa mismo ng table ng artist eh. Siyempre, hiwalay tayo. Pero ganun yung nangyari. So, after yon parang kapag hindi nila sinasabi, hindi na kami kumakain sa tabi ng mga artist. I think that's one reason why I didn't want to be K-pop idol. Mm -hmm. Not because galit ako sa K-pop idols, mm -hmm. ha? But when I used to translate for K-pop idols, yes, I had so much fun watching their amazing performances and how they rehearse, how they practice 
practice, their perseverance, their determinations with their what they present on stage. I already told to the promoter. Sinabi ko ganon yung ginawa. So sana maiwas to sa mga ibang translator. Kasi tao rin kami. Sure, hindi namin gusto yun eh. Hindi mm. naman kami yung nagsabi. Hey, gusto namin kakain dito sa resto. Hindi naman po ganon. So sure, parang nakakahiya. Ang bait, or, ang bait ng pop. Yes. And... Promoter ngayon. Sobrang mabait sila. Yeah. Yeah. Compare before. Nakikinig sila kung ano yung sinasabi ng translator eh. They are trust and they give talaga kung ano yung kaya nilang ibigay rin sa mga translator. Kaya mm. yun. Hello, yeah, so those were some struggles that we we experienced and yeah. we wanted to tell you guys because a lot of the fans think we're very privileged to see the artists in person maybe the, you guys might think we get a chance to talk to them eat with them and have a chat no it's not no. guys yes it is a privilege that we get to watch them backstage and stuff oh, yes. pero sa totoo lang kahit when the concert is ongoing pag nasa backstage kami Hindi we ka have to be yeah. alert we have to be alert because sometimes yung microphone walang battery <laughs> Min minsan oh my in-ear is broke gumagano tapos sayo ibabato <laughs> magagalit yung manager sa production na why is microphone not working sisigaw din ako bakit daw hindi ko magana microphone niya ayan sisigaw kami so opo hindi po kami masyadong may enjoy manonood yeah. tumatawa kasi totoo yan ate diba oh by the way guys there's a decoy van I'm not working for translating anymore so I'm a decoy van big van what? back in my day sobrang daming team airport diba mm. and hotel like talagang mm -hmm. hotel surrounded so what they do is sometimes they send the fake van out. Oh? Yeah, fake van out with the translator and other staff. Tapos, hahabulin ng mga fans, di ba? Tsaka nalalabas yung oh. artist. Yes! Ngayon, wala nang ganun. Wala nang ganun? Hindi ko na alam. Sa totoo lang. Sa mga mga events dyan, pag-ibawin naman. <laughs> sponsor, sponsor. Sponsor. <laughs> sponsor na van.